Do you have a Mac? Are you interested in photography? Want to edit your pictures to look like this? All for free? <laughs> well good, because you can. So if you're just starting to get into photography and you think you need some sort of expensive editing software to make your photos look professional, you're wrong. I mean it helps, but your Mac already has a powerful app that allows you to edit photos and make them look amazing. The app is called Photos, because <laughs> why not? Here's a brief lesson on how to use it. Alright, so first things first is you open the app up. And then depending on what you're using as storage, whether it be an SD card or a hard drive, and then you choose to import the photo you want to edit. So let's say we'll choose this one. So you choose the photo you want to edit, click on edit on the top right, and let's do it. So there's multiple ways you can edit the photos. There's the quick way where you can have the system automatically enhance the photo for you and you can do that by clicking on this magic wand right here. And yes, you see there's a little bit of a difference but sometimes that's not what you want. So if you want more control then you have the adjust panel in which we can do a lot of things to this photo to make it look good. So you have lighting, color, black and white. We'll focus just on light and color for this one. There's two ways to do this for lighting and color. Uh, you can just play with the meter to affect all of the individual properties as you'll see here. Or you can personalize them yourself. So for this photo, I want to make it look more colorful. So the exposure is fine. If this photo needs to be brighter or dimmer, you can play around with that, but I think it looks fine right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the highlights so that the sky will look bluer and it also adds some color to the foreground. I do want to turn up the shadows so that all of the textures can be seen. But at the same time, I like my photos to have a lot of contrast and I like the dark features to be even darker. So I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit. Turn up the contrast as well as the black point. So some of the rocks are darker now and some of the water is darker as well. I think it's going to look really crisp and kind of a cinematic look. So let's compare it to our original photo and as you can see it already looks better. Things are more clear, a lot more contrast and we haven't even added color yet. So let's mess with the color a little bit but don't get too carried away. Since there are no faces to play with in this photo I can turn up the saturation without anyone looking orange which is always good. You don't want them to look like an Oompa Loompa. So let's turn up the saturation a little bit, make those blues even bluer. Don't really need to mess with the contrast here, you can leave that at zero or where it is. The cast on the other hand is a temperature you want to imply, either warmer or colder. I want it just a little bit warmer so I'm going to put it to the right just a little bit, not too much. And there you have it, let's compare that to the original, boom. Now that looks hella good. There are other features on here as well such as retouching, red eye, white balance, etc. I'm going to just do a few more things. I'm going to do the definition to make the textures even pop out more. It's a very subtle thing, but if you're looking at this photo for the first time, you can just really see the waves pop up more, the, um, the rocks pop out more. And finally, the last thing, I'm going to add a vignette, aka corner shadows, to make the photo look even more legit. Boom, there you have it. Once again, compared to the original, and that looks great. Oh man, I'm ready to frame that up. Woo! Now there are other features on this app as well. I just taught you the basics, but it's a handy little tool to make your photos look just a little bit better. And best of all, it's free! <laughs> so if you like this video, make sure you thumb me up below as well as subscribe. More quick tutorials coming your way, but until then, go out, see the world, take the photos, edit, and put them on social media, like Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram, at Zolly TV and at Zolly Takes Photos. Okay? Thanks. Bye. <laughs>